Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. Now this will be for May 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget though, it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Um, so what I've done is what I did last time. Um, I'm going to do tarot um, on camera. I've already pre-shuffled. I'm just doing a few shuffles on camera for you. And then, um, and I've also already done the oracle just to try to save a bit of time because my readings are really long. Um, so anyway, uh, so let's start. We'll start with the oracle and then we'll do the, the tarot after. So there's something that, um, I feel like you need to kind of take some time to relax. You need to be still. You need to have some time in solitude. You need to look after yourself. And by that, it means you, your kids, your family, but, you know, just have some peace. And I feel like being by yourself is going to give you that. Um, but, you know, you really need to have this uh, blessed change. You need to make this change in your life. And I feel like at the moment you're not kind of doing that. Um, but you need to have the major life change to get some great blessings. Um, it's like endings bring new beginnings, that kind of that kind of thing. If you need help, though, ask. You realize, you know, you know it's time to move on, but at the same time, you're not really doing that. You're not letting something go. You're kind of hold, holding on to something. Um, and I say that because even here, take the lead in reverse. It's like the three of wands. It's like it's easier to stay in your comfort zone rather than, um, you know, taking back power. You need to take back your own power. You need to take the lead um, in your own life. You know, all you're having is frustration and obstacles and um, delays in things. Um, I just saw two, two, two as well google that i mean twos are all about choices in relation and partnership so that's no surprise really um but google angel number 222 um yeah so take the lead i feel like you definitely you know as i said get out of your comfort zone you need to go you need to do that you need to take back power in your own life um because i feel like with the two of cups you want your person that's your kindred spirit you want this person who's compatible and um, you know, all of that. But I feel like there needs to be a dedicated effort put in on both sides, you know, with the aid. I feel like it's also about you widening your knowledge. It's about making steady progress, being determined, paying attention to details, having drive, knowing what it is you want. But I feel like at the moment, focus on your employment, uh, focus on making money. Um, but yeah, I just feel like you need to take that power back in this in this situation with your love life but I also feel like you need to take this effort if you want your your kindred spirit you need to actually put in the effort because I feel like at the moment you're here with somebody who doesn't have the same values as you you know can't focus on your self-love because as I say I don't feel like you would stay there if you knew if you had your self-worth and your self-love I don't think you would stay there um you're not accepting of it's like you don't want to accept more to the point about you know what it is that you're actually the situation you're actually in you don't want to accept that um and you've also got beauty as well now, I feel like, you know, it's not all about makeup and looks and things like that, but it's also about um, somebody possibly is questioning, making you question yourself, um, maybe about how you look or um, there's something to do with beauty. Maybe you're not all that happy in yourself, um, but, yeah, maybe you need to look into that. What makes you feel good? Um, maybe you've been putting on weight. But do keep the faith. 
and really you know you need some discernment you really because you know you, ne you need to know what you need to release and i feel like you already know that um you know it's up to you though free will now the last deck you have relationship in reverse you're not growing and there's no compromise um but this talks about some sort of as i said relationship in your life um i don't feel like there's a feeling of you feeling safe or you don't have that togetherness um you can't relax in your own space in your own home um i don't feel like you're paying attention to your own intuition or to signs and synchronicities that the you know spirit's giving you um but you know it's like you don't want to do anything now you'd rather deal with it later but i feel like now is the time now you need to deal with something so you may also be getting some sort of guidance in your dreams you know that there is some sort of deception going on all right let's do some tarot so as i said i'm trying to get through this quicker rather than taking so long okay nine cards please for taurus bottom i mean this all comes back to you wanted your wish wanting wanting your wishes fulfilled more to the point um this is about good health happiness you know security contentment all the good things um and i feel like that's the main topic here is all about you know you wanting your your wishes fulfilled is that happening in the situation that you're in um uh, don't feel like it is at the same time you're not wanting to end something um that you're in i can see that already and you do have to take back your personal power so yeah it's a lot of the same cards that you've already had in the oracle but we'll start with the ace of action this is the same as the um, ace of wands in reverse so you feel like you've got a lack of direction there's Possibly this, you've just got to look at it like this, there was a missed opportunity or some sort of distraction in your life. Um, yeah, like you're not, you're not doing something in your life that's um, going to bring new opportunities in your career, your love life, to your dreams coming true, whatever this is. Um, you're not taking action also uh so maybe you're procrastinating you you know you're really not wanting to make a decision um maybe you also have a lack of confidence queen of pentacles you really need to work on your self-worth look after yourself um focus on you know getting some financial independence as well with the four of wands i mean this is about moving on and leaving the past behind so i feel like you will you will end up doing that but at the moment you're at this place where obviously you don't want to make this change because you don't want to stand up for yourself and take back your own power um all right let's see where do i want to start okay so I think you've I think you've realized that um, this isn't a good situation but at the same time you don't want to make any kind of uh, change and even if you break up I feel like it's you know somebody wants to reconcile whether it's you or your other person with the five of um, swords in reverse 
you know, it could mean that you have some sort of past resentment, but with the other card above, I feel like you're just not wanting to let something go. Um, you're not wanting to move on. So, yeah, I just, I feel like somebody, whether it's you or your person, somebody wants to reconcile. Maybe you feel like there's not something that will make you happier. You have a lack of faith. Maybe you're codependent. I don't know. But I I just feel like you're definitely not wanting to move forward. Um, yeah, this person is going to communicate. Maybe you're still talking to this person. There's some sort of communication. And I feel like every time they com you communicate with this person, I mean, you know, it could be that they're manipulating. Because um, I feel like you withdraw. And then I feel like you, <clears throat> I feel like there's some sort of issue about money, whether it's them, you, something, but yeah, I just, I feel like there's going to be communication. Every time you communicate, I feel like you get manipulated. Um, so I feel like you're going to go back there. I feel like they'll, they'll convince you to reconcile and you'll, you'll do that. Look, same card, Five of Swords, in reverse. And you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You're not learning. You're not progressing. You're not, yeah, look. But there will be some sort of ending. This is going to be a complete and painful ending. It's like this, you're trying to hold on to something that is going to end because it's not for you and the universe will make it happen if you don't. But it's not, it's not for your highest good. You need to learn the lesson so you don't have to keep repeating it. As I said to you, this person is deceptive. There's the deception card. So, as I said, at the moment, this it looks like you may reconcile because, or you have in the past. It could mean you have already in the past, depending on when this is for you. But this is out with the old, in with the new. This is the same as the tower. You're trying to avoid this tower moment from happening you're trying to you fear the change you're trying to avert a disaster at the same time you need to do some work on yourself um because i feel like there's some sort of codependence there oh seven of swords i mean this person is doing uh, whatever they're doing they know they're doing wrong but they do it anyway um there's no stability they're probably immature there's no you know balance there's no know anything but you do need to do some do some healing on yourself like i said um with the seven of swords oh crap you got the five of swords and the seven of swords the two crappest cards in the whole deck but as i said this person is going to communicate with you they view you like the king of pentacles they view you like somebody who has money is generous it has security um has abundance you know i feel like they they view you as having like you know material resources and stability um then we have the helper of thought the knight of swords i feel like things are gonna happen quite quickly um it's like now you've made a decision you you know maybe there's it's time to get moving um review whatever details that you need to review um it's all about making a lifestyle change being determined being strong you know you rely on facts and logic and truth and justice and all that but i feel like you know you are going to make some sort of change so i don't know what happened between them and, and maybe you found out this person is deceptive what's going on there Three of Cups, third party. Can you tell me more? Yeah, look, maybe you start looking after yourself. Because I feel like you, you're a mum. I feel like you've got kids. Maybe you're putting your kids first. Maybe um, you realise that you need to kind of be alone. Or there could be, as I said, a third party involved. Um, then you have the six of action. Now, that's the same as the six of wands. You know, this is about success and victory, about having self-confidence. And, and, you know, I feel like 
you do have you know the or, or maybe you're working on your self-confidence but I feel like you're making progress and if you do make progress I feel like you are going to be successful um if you need help ask like I feel like if you need help from people friends family whatever ask um but yeah I feel like you should be proud of yourself because it's like you've gotten through something and you kind of stood up for yourself. Yeah, you withdrew. You're... I feel like you're learning. This person is about their ego. They're selfish. And I feel like you stood your ground with the Emperor. Um, yeah. Then you've got the Chariot. So, yeah, I mean, the Chariot's about you being successful, but you've got to take action. You've got to make a change, be determined. You know, like, you may relocate, you may travel, but, but I feel like... Um, I feel like look at all the great things that if you listen to the divine guiding you and, and you, you get away from these situations, like, you know, you're a strong person and I feel like you really need to kind of realise how strong you are and be proud of yourself, as I said, for getting out of a situation that isn't for your highest good, isn't isn't doing good, you know, good things. Um, you may... You may be thinking back, but I feel like take off the rose-coloured glasses. Don't forget all the, the crap that they did as well. Really, they didn't fulfil you. They didn't make you feel good, um, dissatisfied, discontent, depressed. And that's why you resisted the change or they resisted the change, maybe even due to money. They're manipulating. Work on manifesting what it is you do want, though. Um... Yeah, as I said, it all comes back to you being this king of pentacles, like I said. Now, seven of action. Seven of wands. You've got the six and you've got the seven. Um, this, so that's progress as well. Um, it's all about, you know, claiming your personal power. As I said, it's about you. It's the seven of wands. It's the same card you had before where... You've, you know, you can have success and victory, but you've got to have that confidence to claim back your personal power. Um, have the strength to walk away or say no or whatever. Um, and I feel like a lot of the conflict you're going through is inner conflict. It's not so much outer, it's more inner. Um, you telling yourself, you know, you can't do it or you don't want to be alone or whatever this is. Um, but you're feeling burnt out, exhausted, stuck you know, not in a good place, but trust your intuition because I feel like there are secrets. Um, this person may even ghost you. It's going to take strength for you to, to walk away from this person. Oops, there's a card turned. Um, and then you have the temperance in reverse. You've already had this card as well. Like, you really need to do that self-healing. And I feel like... Um, realizing that you know you and this and this other person it's just there's just no stability there's no um there's no compromise there's no teamwork balance and um you don't work together there's no there is no win-win solution Yeah, strength, page of cups in reverse. Trust your intuition. This person's selfish. And move. you are going to move on and leave the past behind, which is good. Um, then you've got the Hierophant card. Embrace those around you. It's all about, you know, spiritual growth. It's about learning the lesson. 
you've obviously got some sort of spiritual lesson. Uh, be willing to accept help from others, as I said. Um, so, yeah, reach out and, and if you need help, you know, I feel like you've got people around you. You may have more than what you think. Um, and the people you do have, you know, I'm sure they're good people in your life. So, you know, otherwise they wouldn't be in there. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like, you know, reach out and ask if that's what you need. You know, maybe do that. Anyway, it comes back to you taking back power. It comes back to you making this change. And accepting the situation for what it is. And this person for who they are. Anyway, that's what I have. Um, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And um, I will catch you with the next read. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.